Hello? Hello? Is anyone out there? Hello booktube. Well it has been a while. The last time I posted a video according to YouTube was in July. I'm sorry. I've had life. <laughs> life has been pretty lifey at the moment. As you know, because I suppose I should give you a bit of an explanation, as you know, or if you do know, my grand passed away in July and that was something. And then I had a friend come and refugee with me for two months. And although Robin watches my videos, hi Robin, um, there's one thing having somebody watch final version, it's another thing having somebody overhear you sit and chat to yourself. On your camera. <laughs> I mean, even my mom's in bed at this time. I, I'm not doing this publicly. Um, okay, there's irony in there, but anyway. And then when everything's, um, when Robin uh, moved to Durban and got to the holidays and I thought I was going to be back, my mom and I were heading off while we went off to go and sort out my grand's estate. And the lift, the elevator, went down lower than the floor. And she fell getting out the lift. And she didn't just break the ball joint in her right arm. She broke the glenoid that it fits into. Although the good news is she did a pretty shoddy job of doing herself a damage. Because none of the pieces moved. So she didn't need surgery. But that meant that I was covering both bases. And between that and work and all the extra things for work as well because I've become a bit of a graphic designer as well doing all the um, pamphlets and prospectus and uh, there's only one prospectus but anyway I feel like I needed to make that a plural and um, yeah advertising and things like that and um, so I've been rather busy but I, interestingly enough I am still considering everything that's happened less stressed and more happy than I was at my last job so that says a lot which then brings the next piece of news into dodgy light because I've got a new job for next year and I don't know whether I'm happy about it or not because I really love the, fe the people that I work with at the moment but I work well the school that I teach at at the moment is in the town next door so I have to drive there every day and between petrol prices and the time, it's quite expensive. Um, and the school that I've got a job at now, I can walk to in 10 minutes. So that's going to be probably awesome because I'll be able to sleep in a bit more, which means I'll be able to read till later. So I'll be able to get through more books and I won't be spending an hour and a half to two hours on the road. So I'll be able to even use that time for reading. And <laughs> so things are looking up. Now we get to the next part as to why I didn't put up a video. I have about 38 books to tell you about because that's what I've read since the last time I made a video and I don't know how to do that and as this is the end of the academic year I am joining the rest of the teachers out there in this country who are dragging their half dead bodies over the finish line so that they can have a holiday. There is nothing creative upstairs anymore. I just want to survive and get to my damned holiday because man I want it so yeah I don't know how I'm going to do this I don't know if I should just give highlights of or talk about the books that I've really enjoyed or you know try and give you a bit of a detailed um, review of everything I have no idea I'll give it some thought and we will see what happens but in the meantime, I am going to talk about the last two books that I've read and let's get the show back on the road. Da, 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 da. Ulysses. This is the one rare occasion where the cover is exactly how you can judge a book. You can notice this dull green, green for Ireland, yes. Can you see that there is no plot, nothing happens, no picture? spot on. Okay, so I'm being unfairly critical. Um, I can't say that I liked reading Ulysses. I started it twice. <laughs> First time was in July and I read about a hundred pages and then put it down and then when I picked it up again I had no idea what was going on again so I had to start it from square one. 
and that was it. I was not going to pick up this bloody book again unless somebody is going to offer me a piece of paper that says professor on it for my efforts. Um, so I thought that's it. I'm going to read it one time and that's it. It's going to be over with. So I don't need to hold this because there's nothing inspiring looking at this. And um, But anyway, so Ulysses, if you look at it in bits and pieces, there are things that one can appreciate. There's things that he plays with, with the language, etc. I found some things funny. But overall, as I put on my Goodreads review for this, I would compare the reading experience to looking at this massive wall mural because that's not small. And if you had a look at this massive Ulysses wall mural, and every um, square inch you could appreciate something, you know, the detail, the line, the texture, something in it. And, you know, every single square inch. But when you step back and you look at the whole thing, it just, it's too much. It's too much variety and difference and change and everything else that the actual picture itself is lost. And not that there was much of a picture with this to start off with, because nothing really happens. It's a day in the life of Stephen Dedalus and um, Bloom. And that's it. And uh, there's a lot of drinking. But anyway, so there's, uh, I mean, as I said, you know, in little pieces, it, it was fun. But if it, the whole big thing is like, why did he write it? Did he just want to make everybody else feel stupid? Because if that was his intent, then he succeeded. But, um, yeah, there, there was so much that was really hidden that you really had to dig around to find out. And, I mean, I was reading this for fun. There was no fun involved, but, you know, curiosity. Let's call it curiosity. I was reading it out of curiosity. I did not want to study it. I do not want to study it. Um, if I ever study this, there's going to be spark notes, man. But anyway, um, overall, I can see why it would be studied. But I can't see why anybody would ever read it for fun. Which I'm not too sure gives you the purpose behind a book. Anyway, the next book that I finished, well actually I finished this one before, Ulysses. And um, this is The Angina Monologues by Rosamond Kendall. Now this is a South African book. And this um, Rosamond Kendall um, is a doctor. Um, she did do this. Um, in South Africa, when you finish your medical degree, before you can go and practice, you have to do a year's internship. And then after that, you need to do a year, uh, I think it's one year, I think it's one year, my brother, I think, did one, um, community service. And although you can request which um, hospital you placed at, you don't really have a choice. I hope that notification's not missing of my video. Anyway, so in this story, you follow three um, young women they're all starting their internship and they're at the Prince Kaliswe Hospital north of Durban. And they're the three most different characters you could find. You have Rachel, who is a white, wealthy um, young woman from a Jewish family, not Jewish by religion, but Jewish by culture. Um, you have Nomsa, who is quite an interesting character in the sense that she was born in a very rural town in the Eastern Cape, which is one of your poorer, if not the poorest, um, province in South Africa. But out of good fortune on her part, the woman that her mother worked for, her mother was a domestic servant, um, this woman put her in a girl's boarding school. So she had the, let's call it the white upbringing. Um, or the upper class upbringing. It was very different. It took her away from her cultural roots. And she went through high school and into university, medical school, blah, blah. And here she is as a black woman in South Africa who was only black by color and not quite white, but doesn't fit in anywhere. And her story was quite interesting. And then my favorite story was actually of the young Indian woman, Seema, who is in an extremely dysfunctional marriage. And you're dealing with what she has to deal with as well. Now, this book was brilliant in the sense that, for one, it catches you with the humor right from the beginning. So you have all the chaos that's going on in the hospital. But as the story progresses, so the humor kind of dies down because they're obviously getting to know what's going on. So there's less, well, less 
fewer funny surprises and incidents that happen and you become more aware of the dysfunction um, of the government hospital system here which was actually really interesting because my brother did it not as a medical doctor he's a clinical psychologist and the stories that he had to tell were very very similar um, you get to see over um, well under staffing um, there's not enough facilities or beds or medicine or um, time even to treat the patients properly give them the counseling or the information even that they need to try and remain healthy um, things like HIV AIDS status is not given the following day but the next month when the person returns and how do you give them counseling for it so it was actually really interesting um, from that um, aspect then you also had all the medical side which I always find interesting and then you had the mother-daughter relationships with these young women who are also having a bit of a coming of age story as well because being a university student is not the same as being an adult and standing on your own two feet so I quite enjoyed it I didn't give it five out of five stars I wouldn't consider it a perfect book because it's quite thin as you can see I mean compared to Ulysses that's nothing um, but because you're following three people over a year it, it felt that you know their, their progression was very staccato there wasn't a flow as to how they developed and changed over time in fact every now and again when she mentioned the time and how long they'd been there I was like oh wow it just felt like yesterday I was there I, I didn't feel the progression of time but you could see how the characters did change which was pretty great so those are the two that I've just recently finished I am currently reading this but ugly copy of Gulliver's Travels. I'm quite enjoying it, even though it's really, really ugly. Who on earth thought that this would be an attractive color? But anyway, so I'm doing this one. And then for some light reading, I am doing Moskva by Jack Grimwood. And I'm really not far into this at all, but he's doing one thing that I don't like doing. Well, I don't appreciate in books. And that is... He starts off the chapter and you're with this guy, but he doesn't tell you who he is. The next chapter you're with Tom. The third chapter you're with some woman and you, he never tells you who they are. So now I've got these random fragments of people that I'm trying to place somewhere else. And, you know, that would be all fine and dandy if I was, you know, a bit more of a faithful reader and not bouncing around between multiple books. Because some things do fall through the cracks. <laughs> anyway. I am hopefully going to be back. I hope that this is going to be the first in a long series of videos from me. Um, I do have a lot of things on my plate, like this room is going to become my study because it already looks like it. So I've got a lot of rearranging and furniture and whatnot to move and things like that. So if you don't see me, it's because this place looks like a dump and I do have some self-respect. And um, other than that, let's just hope that there will be no more tragedy or chaos befalling anyone because I don't really feel up to it. I want a holiday now. This holiday in, starts in two weeks. Yay. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much it from me. I have a ton of videos to catch up on because I think it's been about two months since I actually last saw a booktube video, which has actually made me feel horribly guilty because I didn't realize it was that much. But when I finally had a chance to finish work, then I just crashed with the book. I just couldn't. Which is strange because Booktube is what kept me going for the last many years through my last job. Okay, so that's me. No more waffle. I am going to edit this thing quick, quick, put it up, and go read. Bye for now.